So, uh, 2 0 today, David, um, yeah. in the Champions League against um, Arsenal here at Barnet. Um, I said to Becky, comfortable? Um, was it a comfortable win? It was assured. Mm -hmm. I think probably the best word about it. Arsenal did obviously mm -hmm. put a few scares in there and they created a fair few opportunities and um, could have took them there and thereabouts, but Becky's pulled off a wonderful save at 0 0. Mm -hmm. um, and that's turned the tide because we've gone up the other end of the pitch two, three minutes later and Curse has put the one in. So when we talk about chances for Arsenal, Becky's made the save when she's been called upon. Over the two games, she's had to make one crucial save and she's come up trumps. From a spectator's point of view, and, and probably from the bench, is it fair enough for me to say that um, Birmingham won a bit more? No, I don't think that's so. How it, that's how it came across on my, but obviously... You know. I, think, I think in terms of what it was and where the game was at, I think both clubs wanted it just as bad. Mm -hmm. I think the really thing they do is just, we've come up with a bit of quality. And we've come up with a change angle. We've, just come, in we've, case. Come, we've come up across the distraction as <laughs> well. We do what we like! We do what we like! We're blues ladies! We do what we like! <laughs> that's what you get for a that's what you get for a Champions League uh, semi final. Okay. Anyhow, nice little... let's be professional. There we go. We'll get back into it now. He's, he's, had, his, he's had his say. He's uh, had his day. Just, 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 like, just say his full name just so that we know now. What's his um, full name? That's Mr. Joe Smith. <laughs> You've had your say, Mr. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we're not having that. <laughs> okay. Go on, Joe. Go on, Joe Smith. <laughs> okay. um, no, no, I was just going to say, what, would you say, how does it feel now to be in the semis? Um, it's delighted, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, loads and loads of different adjectives you can throw at it, but when you look back at what this football club is and when you go Birmingham City, mm -hmm. semi final, the Champions League. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It just it says it all for me that mm -hmm. we are a provincial club. We've got no budget. We have to scrimp and save and duck and dive for everything we have, mm -hmm. everything. And to go out and do what we've done and achieved over the past couple of years is remarkable. It is really remarkable. Would you say that there was a lot of chopping and changing last season, hence that you didn't finish as highly high as you would like to have done? I think it was just a transition year. Really? Uh, big name players, um, obviously moving on. Mm -hmm. Past is new. Um, but we always knew we had the plan mm -hmm. to follow through with it. Mm -hmm. We can't compete for wages. Mm -hmm. We can't compete in terms of that. So when players want money, mm -hmm. we can't give them it. Mm -hmm. um, but what we have got is the players that don't mind pay paying, paying for peanuts. Mm -hmm. They'll come and do it because they love this club. Mm -hmm. And they want to do it regardless of the money. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully when that money does come along at some point in the future, they'll be rewarded for it. Is the future bright in your eyes for this sport? Absolutely. Yeah. This women's game. What's, what convinces you? Uh, the media interest. Mm -hmm. Media. Uh, just looking at the media figures, mm -hmm. that convinces me. Mm -hmm. um, knowing that there's highlight packages on BT Sport. I heard something about Five Live, didn't I? Five Live Extra. They're going to yeah. start doing like a lot more live radio coverage. Yeah. Live radio on the coverage. Like commentaries and things. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. But in yeah. terms of the highlights packages, more people watch women's football than the Serie A Bundesliga highlights mm -hmm. on BT Sport. Mm -hmm. That is huge. I think this game is going big. It's and a lot of Americans and Japanese are coming over, aren't they? They are, well. yeah, and I think we'll see more of a trend in terms of that. And mm -hmm. The aspiration of the FA is for this to be the best women's league in the world. Mm -hmm. And with the Premier League backing and the funds that are in this country, we can do it. Um, okay. The question is, we have to be financially responsible. Mm -hmm. We have to be really digital, diligent mm -hmm. in the way that we manage our money. Mm -hmm. um, at Birmingham, we manage on a shoestring, so it's not here nor there. But other clubs have this money that they're just not pouring it out of the game into agents mm -hmm. and into players' pockets. That mm -hmm. They do deserve to be rewarded, mm -hmm. but some of the wages we need to be careful of because okay. the game's not ready for that income level yet because it's not self-sustaining. Mm -hmm. that, that is our aim at Birmingham, to have a self-sustaining football club, and we're getting there. We've made some great ground off the pitch in terms of self-financing and self-regulation. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be a bit naughty here with what I'm saying, but I just said to you that Joe, and won my interview of the year, and yeah. an absolute all credit. Um, I'm, I'm staggered that Joe's not in the England setup. Yeah, I really well, am. Yeah. And, and I saw Mark today, yes. and I almost felt like bending his ear and just saying, yeah. you know. Yeah, I was going to say, I have a good relationship with Mark. Um, yeah. It's really changed in terms of the England setup now. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I've been over there with the England teams, the Cyprus Cup as well, mm -hmm. and us with the other Super League coaches, which mm -hmm. has been great. And Joe's definitely a player in his yeah. eyesight, so I know that. I definitely. Know that for a fact. 
Uh, a good, a good player to have around. She is. She's yeah. a great player to have around. But there's also good quality midfielders in the country. Let's not yeah. forget that. But uh -huh. Joby's one of the best. No, let's not pull any punches. She's one of the best. No, absolutely. Well, like, I've noticed that for a long, long time. Yeah. And you that's know? it. I'm going to say and when, when the time's ready, and I'm mm -hmm. sure that if Mark feels it's right to mm -hmm. call her up, he'll mm. do so. It'd be lovely to see her in Canada. It would be. It would be lovely to see her out there. But like I say, she's got to not just impress us. We know what she's capable of. She's got to impress Mark as well. Okay. Well, I think I would say these things to Joe's face as well. I have the bravery <laughs> to say it. Okay. Look, yeah. Listen. Um, lovely talking to you. Now, I love your insights. I really do. I'm sure that we could go on for a lot longer. And yeah. but obviously, like the bus is waiting, so you better yeah, be getting with. I'm going to find it in the bar ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Paul. Listen. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very and, much. And lovely meeting you. And, and, and obviously, I'll, I will catch up with you at some point during the season. That's fantastic. All right, thank Brilliant. you. Cheers. No thank problem you. at all.